more than likely you're going to see a fire for a very long time. 27 investigates a possible hidden danger here in the valley. We're talking about trains carrying millions of gallons of crude oil. They pass through our area every day. Most of the time, there's no issue. But that is not always the case. Back in February, a train carrying more than 100 tankers of crude oil derailed in southern West Virginia. 14 tankers caught on fire and the flames spread to one home. And then last week, 21 cars carrying crude oil derailed in Galena, Illinois. That sparked another fire. As 27 Investigates reporter Amanda Smith learned, trains passing through our area could also be carrying an accident waiting to happen. Trains roll through the Mahoning Valley every day. I wanted to know what is rolling through the tracks in our neighborhood. Now, it's not that easy to find out. It took me three days of trying and calling around to the state. I ended up having to file a formal request. I did learn, though, that two of the major oil routes through the United States pass through the Mahoning Valley. This map shows routes operated by Norfolk Southern and CSX. They're approved for up to 24 trains every week. Each train carries a load of more than a million gallons of crude oil. Coming through East Palestine right here, goes up into Columbiana. It does go through populated municipalities. This is Luke Newbold. He's the director of the Columbiana Emergency Management Agency. He just got back from training with the rail companies. It's his job to make sure the area is ready when an explosion occurs. We have seen a lot of derailments uh, um, throughout the, the nation and in Canada. Um, so it, it is possible. We do have a lot of traffic, uh, but we are prepared if it does happen. I reached out to the rail companies this week. Norfolk Southern answered my call. There have been a lot of high-profile incidents, and I think it's important to note that those incidents are the exception, not the norm. He says the train companies have to take hazardous cargo on board. They're called a common carrier, and it's federal law. And companies provide their own cargo cars like the ones that exploded in West Virginia. We are advocating for a higher standard of safety for tank cars that haul hazardous material. The rail companies have to share the routes the oil travels on and how much could pass through. In the Mahoning Valley, that's up to 55 million gallons a week. They don't tell the safety forces when it's shipping. I asked Senator Sherrod Brown if that needs to change. These rules are, are, are rarely strong enough or tight enough uh, and I think we need to relook at them. But the first thing is immediate notification uh, so people in the Mahoning Valley know if there's a problem. There have been two train derailments in Youngstown over the years, but so far it hasn't happened with an oil train. In Youngstown, I'm Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.